Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We are Wednesday, April 12th, 2023, and I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. It's a timeless read. I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders because it's energy. So if this is your read, you'll know from the description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies, toss the rest. Don't try to make things fit if they don't, okay? I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head though, just so you know. Um, I could pull a card out and there's a masculine on the card and I'll use a he pronoun, but you know in your storyline it's a she. So just flip it, okay? Switch it where you need to. Um, and just bear in mind, it's a general read. Not every read's going to be for you, okay? So don't shoot the messenger, okay? I can't control the topic of discussion. Uh, I'll bring out the tarot cards as well as... Uh, and give you the description as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. Pardon me. We give you all the descriptions, summer one, and then we bring it together at the end, all right? So thank you for being here. Thank you for that PayPal uh, donation last night. I'm truly grateful, as always. Uh, I'm grateful for each and every one of you being here with me and helping me grow this channel. So thank you very much. And if you wouldn't mind, please like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Let's start this read, shall we? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light, how would you like to begin with this read, please? What is the message for the collective for this afternoon, please? What would you like the collective to know, please? Thank you. Oh, that flew. That kind of actually hovered for a fraction of a second. The prison wave, self-sabotage, poverty, consciousness, 31. Um, that's a four in tarot. So that's the emperor taking back your, your power. It could be a father, it could be a boss, it could be a husband, it could be a female and emperor energy. It just means that you're in a position of power. You have clout, you have connections, you're established, you um generally of an age where, you know, you've got life experience behind you and maturity. It doesn't have to be, you could be a young person but with a very old soul. You know who you are, right? If if it if it fits, it fits. But somebody is the type that self-sabotages, okay? Obviously, they come from a place where they, they don't have self-love. Um, they probably grew up in poverty. Um, they're, they're in fear of poverty. Maybe it could also be uh, a past life that they were poor and they carried those memories into this life. Take it as it applies, okay? Keep of the scales, bottom of the deck. So this is that's the overarching energy. This is the underlying energy. Fairness and balance, 38. So that's 11 in tarot. That's justice. Hearts are being weighed at the moment, okay? So things are being righted. The scales are being righted. Um, truths are being known. They're, they're being forced out into the open. Um, it's also a card of karma, okay? Spiral dancer, circuitous route perception. Card number five, that's a hierophant. It could be about a relationship, a commitment, a contract. Um, it could be dealing with an institution, Marriage is an institution, that's one thing, but it's also, it could be like government, courts, um, religion and or spirituality. It could be the, it could be the divine himself, right? Five. You could be a hierophant yourself, high spiritual, highly spirit, spiritually ranked, pardon me. Uh, you, you might feel like you're going around in circles, but you're not. That is just your perception from where you are in the 3D. Um, you, you're, you're not understanding that, yeah, you keep going around in circles, you might keep running into the same type of um, lessons. It just means that you haven't learned, but every time you do learn these lessons, you're not starting from a point of um, all over again. You're starting from a point of experience. So you've actually elevated, but you just haven't noticed it yet, okay? <clears throat> Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Oh, that was quick. So somebody could be facing some prison time where they feel in prison somehow. Um, Artificial heart 12. Yeah, they're stuck. They feel trapped. Um, they're struggling here. Struggling to break free or somebody doesn't want to let go. Take it as applies. They don't, they don't see the possibilities around them. They need to look at things from a different perspective. They're unawakened. They're unaware. Wasting time. It's a time waster here. Somebody doesn't want to let go. They just want to waste your time, basically. Artificial heart. They're not coming from a heart space, okay? They're coming from a place of greed, fear, anything other than love, obviously. There's no self-love here. So, pardon me. If you can't love yourself, then who the hell is going to love you, right? Unconditional love uh, begins at home, right? Charity begins at home. Um, if you can't love yourself unconditionally, you certainly can't love others unconditionally. And you can't take that love in. You can't receive it. 
you're going to think that that love is alien to you. You're going to think that somebody, this is too good to be true. They must have an agenda. You know what I'm saying? So you self-sabotage, just like the card says, right? Bottom of the deck, black flower, fragrance, and I shuffled these cards. I'm telling you, it came out earlier too with another read. Something is rotten underneath the surface here. 16, that's the tower. So something's coming down. It was built on a false foundation, uh, giving a false sense of security and false impressions, okay? So if this is you or somebody you're dealing with, they were warned over and over and over again to stop what they're doing, to fix what they broke, whatever, you know what I mean? To pay attention. They didn't pay attention to spirits urging, so now they're bringing it down, unfortunately. It's going to be a shock. They might have to... Go to prison for something. Uh, 18, that's the moon. Naked before the stars. They were working um, behind the scenes to, to against someone. Either it's you or this was you doing this. Um, a lot of illusions and, and, and secrecy here. Could be fear. Coming from a fear-based, uh, you know, from a, a fear, a place of fear, pardon me. Um, very emotional, possibly. You could be very in, intuitive. They're being stripped of whatever spiritual gifts they may have. They could have been doing some magic as well here. And because of that, they're being stripped here. Everybody's seeing them for who they are. They're being laid bare for all to see, possibly. It doesn't have to be magic. It could just be illusions, secrecy, uh, lies, right? Not everything was as it seemed. Prison Wave, card number 31. And Artificial Heart, card number 12, please. Why is this here, please? And the 12 uh, adds up to a 3. So this could be a, uh, an emperor and an empress. Or a pregnancy or a mother. Let's see which... Okay, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Want to want date. Be careful. If this is you, this person doesn't have an open heart here. They're just stuck right now. Poverty consciousness. They might be looking for a handout. What, what not, right? The snake, bottom of the deck. Wow, competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Wow. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. So they're looking for stability. Hmm. Flexibility. Um, I don't know. We'll see how this goes at the end of the read. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light, wise, the prison, what way here, card number 31, artificial heart, card number 12, and I like you. Maybe they truly do like you, but they're unable to open their heart because they've been hurt before. So they're kind of like a time waster. They go from relationship to relationship, just, you know, wasting people's time. They could be of an age as well, like I said, right? So it's, it's not very appealing after a certain age. It looks very immature, right? People don't appreciate their time being wasted like that, especially as we're getting older. We just don't, we don't have the time for it, right? We don't play these games. You have to be transparent. Thank you, Spirit. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Mm, unfaithful. Unable to commit. They break promises. They don't follow through. They're unreliable. Not dependable. Not practical. They don't have anything of value to offer another person. Um, they test you. Okay? They try you. See how they, they push the envelope to see how far they can push you. They're immature and very um, irresponsible. It's not going anywhere. It's never going to go anywhere with an attitude like that, right? So overarching energy, seven of pentacles in reverse, yeah, not investing in you, okay? Just a second, if you don't mind, I'm just going to pause this for a sec, I need my, my water bottle. Sorry about that, my mouth was dry. Yeah, so they're not investing in you, this is a poor investment for you, you're not getting anything back. Um, it's nowhere else to go, it's a dead end here. Maybe you've often asked them, where's this relationship going, and... You know, they're not non-committal. Um, you might have to relocate as well. Maybe you or them. Take it as supplies, okay? It's the end of the road. They want somebody easy in their life. That's not going to question them. Not going to um, hold their feet to the fire. You know what I mean? They want somebody that's not going to question them. 
That's not going to give them a hard time. That they'll be able to do what they want to do. Bottom of the deck, not a once in the upright. Uh, so I think you're going to ha have to protect yourself if you want to. Um, that or this person's got a huge wall in front of them here. Okay. Yeah. You want to talk and they put a huge wall in front of them. So you want conversation. You want transparency. You want to move forward in this relationship and this person's stalled. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Why is this here, please, Spirit? Yeah, Queen of Swords in reverse. You could be angry or they could be. They could be a liar, male or female. It doesn't matter, okay? Uh, gender is not specific here. Um, they're jealous, vindictive, vile, bitter. They're not investing. Hmm. You're not investing in these lies anymore. Yeah, you've, you've exposed them. Six of Wands in reverse. This is not going anywhere. Maybe they don't want to take you out in public, be seen in public with you. Obviously not because there's something wrong with you, but there's something wrong with them. Maybe they have others. I don't know. Take it as applies, okay? Six of Wands in, re in the reverse. So you've been waiting for a long time, contemplating, right? You need to put something to rest. Um, how much time do you really want to waste, right? I've been there. Somebody wasted my time almost seven years. And it was the, um, you know, my biological clock, clock was ticking. I wanted another child. They didn't. And, yeah, they just kind of ruined it for me. And I'm not going to blame them. It was my fault. I shouldn't have left it go that long. So maybe they're doing something in the dark that you're unaware of. They know that it's, you're going to be angry here. Uh, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. Six of Wands in reverse here. They don't want to let go of what doesn't serve three of wands in reverse. So they're not the middle, for sure. Um, they don't want to move forward with you. You there's no foresight. You don't see a future. The future looks bleak with this person, right? They're non-committal, but they don't want to be alone. They don't want to let go of you. <laughs> wow. Some people have a lot of nerve. You're 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 now seeing the the point that this isn't going anywhere. You're not um, they don't want to go anywhere. They want. They want. To, they don't want to do future. Make future plans with you. Sorry, I don't know why I'm tripping over my words all of a sudden. It's non required, unrequited love. Okay. Maybe this person's had a lot of childhood trauma and they haven't dealt with it. Right? It's an empty victory for you. They, they consider this as a win. Doing it their way. I don't have to conform. I don't have to do what you want. If you want me in your life, you have to put up with it. See, this person's not happy. There's at least two other people in their life. These people are starting to get impatient with this person. Like, who the hell are you wasting our time, our lives, setting the tone for our futures? Who the hell are you, right? That's what I'm picking up. He wants me to so it's okay, that flipped over. Yeah, a lot of lies, no communication. When you confront them, maybe, and you want to, you want answers, you know, you want transparency here, you want to see where their head is, they don't want to talk, they clam, clam up, right? This is not a victory. Yeah. They're, they have a lot of illusions, they're casting a lot of illusions, they're two-faced possibly, they're very manipulative, they lie a lot. They're scattered, they're not centered. Something's out of control here. No success. Gold digger, maybe. They're just here for, you know, a short time. Let's put it that way. There's a change here. Or you need to make a change. It's up to you. This is destiny, okay? Maybe they're slowing down your destiny. Trying to stop your destiny. Um, manipul manipulate you. Oh. Why is this, uh, is, oh, that was quick. Now that's in the reverse now. Isn't that funny? You, you're going to let this go. You know that they're manipulating you. This could be past, present, future. This could have happened a long time ago. Um, you don't want this conflict. You, you want to put their pastors behind you, so. This could be embarrassing and disgraceful. Yeah, they lied to you. This is bad news. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. It could be a player. Um, there's a lot of lies, rumor, gossip, and slander. There's a lot of um, unnecessary drama. 
So they lied to you, avoid a tower moment, or this could be financial ruin for you, or but they lie. They lie to get themselves out of trouble. So they lie to get you into their sphere, into their world, and then you lie some more to get out of trouble. Because this is a pattern, obviously, what they do over and over again. Why is that page of wands in reverse? This immature. Yeah, it's not fair. It's justice in reverse. Like I said, it's a time waster. Could be a criminal. He could have a criminal uh, background. Um, but basically, this is unfair to everybody involved here. You didn't ask for this. They didn't give you the choice, did they? Yeah. This is somebody that doesn't want to, that doesn't want any burdens here. They just want to be free. No care in the world. Be free and single and do what they want while in a committed relationship. So they, it's, it's just for stability. Maybe they're they're always in search of someone new to hook up with. You know what I mean? Kind of sounds like a narcissist. So the other woman, because this was the underlying energy, is still in the picture. Um, kind of sounds like a narcissist. They have like a, a plan B already set up, a plan C and a plan D, right? Sorry. Focused. So this is an injustice here. Page of Wands in reverse, justice in reverse. Okay. They have a pentacles. Hmm. They're lazy, don't want to put the work in, and they're very disrespectful. They don't pay their way. Hmm. They don't want to talk about marriage. Uh, well, that's not a, a mistake. There's no errors in tarot, tarot. But they don't want to talk about finances here. So if you're living together, that happened to me before, by the way, with my second husband. Um, he never wanted to talk about the finances. Oh, you're used to smoke pot. I didn't. I don't like the stuff, but hey, no shade. If you like it, you like it. But he'd get high, and then if... Always high, 24-7. So whenever I wanted to talk about finances and when he was good, when was he going to start pitching in, he'd always get upset with me and say, you're ruining my buzz. I worked a hard day today. I just want to relax. I don't want to talk about these things. Meanwhile, I'm going into debt, right? And he's not paying. So some truths are coming out here. Somebody's not very practical, or maybe you're realizing this is not a practical relationship or setup. You're going to come out with some truths here. You're making a judgment call. Good for you. It's wise judgment here. You're making a decision. Split. Divorce. Hierophant reverse. This person doesn't want a traditional relationship. They, they want to look the part of a king of pentacles or of, of a husband. Look at me. I look so good. But it's not their money that's making them look good. It's yours. And it's your your care and your dedication that makes them look good. It's all, look at me. I'm successful. Are they? It's, it's all how they look. You could be an empress here. They want a mom. That's what it is. They don't want a wife. They want a mom. They want a mommy. Take care of me. The only time, uh, you know, when they want something, that's the only time they, they give you any attention. Like, look how he's got his arm around her. Introducing her to somebody. Oh, this is the wife. Yeah, she, yeah, we're doing really good. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're doing everything for them, making them, them look good. Making them look stable. Giving them a home to live in, right? So you're thinking about parting ways with this, with this King of Pentacles. They're non-committal. They don't like traditional relationships. This, this is over. This is over. Any situation here. You want to... The worst is over. You want to regroup and recoup and recover after this, right? This was not a um, an equal, equally yoked relationship. Six of Pentacles and the reverse. They breadcrumbed you. They used and abused you. They mistreated you. Treated you horribly. Could have defrauded and or stolen from you. But now you might be having some financial difficulties, right? Yeah. You're in trouble here. You're in hot water maybe financially. They don't want to move on or they don't want you moving on because then they'll be in trouble financially. They might be verbally and mentally abusive here, talking shit. Maybe they're unaware that you, you know that you've come to this conclusion. Maybe you're doing this on the sly. Who knows? Six of Pentacles in reverse and Six of Swords in reverse. Six, six, if this resonates with you. Oh, this two of them. That came out for, yeah, this is Reckless, Careless, and Foolish. They thought you were naive. 
Yeah, they were here. They were greedy. They were here with you because of greed. They were materialistic, unfaithful, can't be trusted, codependent, codependent and clingy, lazy, jealous. They're jealous of what other people have, right? So they have to keep up with them. Keep up with the Joneses. Maybe they think that you're jealous or you're desperate and that you'll put up with anything they do. I don't think so. You might be going into the poorhouse, though, Two of Pentacles. This is not fair. It's not balanced, okay? You might be boring from Peter to pay Paul because they want to party all the time. Look at me, look at me. Nine of Cups in the upright. This person might have been your wish fulfillment at one point, but they've made you unstable here. them and their family maybe or their friends always partying yay you're the one paying for it all yay two of pentacles in reverse nine of cups in the upright they think it's an achievement that people pay for them look at me look at me i'm so bright and smart <laughs> it's not an achievement to be proud of nine of cups in the upright yeah doppelganger holding back they're very conceited um argumentative confrontational so if you confront them about this yeah they're screaming down down your throat they're screaming in your face making a scene somebody's got a huge ego here uh, a big big uh, sense of entitlement they want the world to kiss their ass and not have to work for it you know yeah you're parting ways with this you were maybe hesitating to part ways but you have to now. I think you see the writings on the wall. They're angry. You're parting ways with them. You don't trust this person anymore. It's coming to a dead stop. Eight of Wands. You're stopping everything. Money. Everything. They don't like that. Too bad. Maybe you're not even communicating with them anymore. You're moving on. Yep. You want to put your past hurts behind you. Maybe you've been depressed a little bit. You went through a dark night of the soul. It's understandable. We, we all go through it, okay? Or maybe now they're going through a dark night of the soul that they've been cut off. Um, yeah. You see right through them. You're parting ways here. You, you're breaking free from this illusion. And you're breaking free from whatever toxic uh, relationship situation is there. Okay? That's, that's leaving them hanging here. Leaving them stuck and struggling. They don't want to let you go. That's what it is. They don't want to let you go. They just want to waste your time even more. They could be sick. They, they could be trying to rope you back in by saying they're sick. This is not your wish fulfillment, though. They're losing hope that you're going to come back, right? Because you're not falling for their little games and their tricks. You took the high road, and you're walking away with your head held high. You're not engaging. Um, you picked your battles wisely. You're putting all of this behind you. They want your help. Wow. They're going to beg you for mercy here. Three of swords in reverse. You feel your own heart. Help me, help me. Yeah, they're immature and they're insincere. They're having an emotional outburst because you left them out in the cold here. They feel abandoned by you. They might be talking trash. You know what I mean? Very abusive. But it's a, it's a blessing in disguise for you, okay? This wasn't going anywhere. This person was very emotionally manipulative, right? They were going to leave you anyways once they got another one set up, let's say. I hate to say it, but it's true. And it's just as like, um, just as well that you didn't have children. I don't, you might have children. Maybe they're, they were trying to force you to have more kids. I don't know. So that kind of uh, solidified their position with you. But yeah, no, they would have been a bad father. They would have been brattier than any child could ever be. Right. Big ego, very arrogant. Um, they just care about their their image. They have addictions. They go to extremes. They have obsessions, inappropriate behavior. You knew they, you know, maybe they did do something. Maybe you do have kids, and they ex displayed in a, inappropriateness in front of the kids. Bad father. Huh. No reconciling here. There's no peace, contentment, or comp uh, or happiness in this relationship. Um, you don't want to reconcile. There's no conflict resolution. You're letting it go. You're removing all obstacles here. You don't want to dwell here anymore. You don't want to live and die this way. I just heard. Yeah, they're feeling left out in the cold, rejected. They're feeling sorry for themselves because you bruised their ego. You took back power and control. Right? Leaving them stuck. 
This is how they normally treat people, though. They leave other people stuck, right? They, they, use, they use themselves very badly. They go into debt. They've got nothing left. They've used up their years, whatever. Put them through a lot emotionally, mentally, physically, possibly, that they just they give up on life, right? You, you're putting down, you made a conscious decision to put these burdens down. You're not going to shoulder their burdens, okay? You're not going to carry their burdens anymore. You ended this cycle. Ten of wands in reverse. Could have been a sudden departure too. You found your strength and, and, and courage and you suddenly left here. And you, you, you probably feel a lot lighter, a lot freer now. You know what I mean? The last relationship I was in, the minute I got heavy-duty narcissist, a lot going on there, by the way. But, uh, yeah, the minute I left and I knew I was safe in my new place, wow, what a feeling. Just I felt like I could float on cloud nine. It was just so freeing. Um, you know, I could finally breathe. Let's end this week, please, Spirit Guides. Guardian Angels, Ancestors, the White Light. So you're ending this cycle here. They were uh, codependent and clingy. They were uh, super superficial, for sure. They were unstable and insecure. They were greedy and selfish. They're having financial difficulties here. Or maybe you are now, but you're still free. <laughs> you know that you'll bounce back, right? They're worried. That's what it is. Nine, nine, if this resonates with you. They're worried. They can't eat or sleep without you. Um, they were willing to see the, the buzzard here, the, the vulture. They were willing to pick your bones clean. They wanted you stressed right out, talking shit about you too, and, and you know behind your back. You're gonna be speaking your truth. That the truth is gonna be coming out about them. Maybe that's what they're worried about. Oh no! If the truth comes out in my friend circle or whatever, wherever they are, they might uh, ruin all other chances with anybody else that they have going at the same time. They're not stay, um, single. They don't want to be single. And maybe they might not be in another committed relationship, but they're certainly not single. Yeah. Could have got an STD. Or maybe the minute you left, they, they accused you of giving them an STD. There's no passion here anymore anyways. You're not, you're not doing this anymore. You blocked them from communicating with you. This is quickly. There's, there's nothing they could do. Right? You left quickly. You left so quick there you knew they didn't have a chance to block you. Okay, you moved on. You're taking control of the situation. You're moving forward. This is victory. Bringing back balance to your life, right? Yep. A warrior here. Taking the lead. This is having morals, ethics, nobility, right? It's powerful. You're moving forward, leaving them behind. Yet yeah, releasing this uh, attachment here, you're letting it go. Good for you. You don't have to hide your money anymore. You don't have to hide your feeling. Yes, yeah, so a parting of ways. It was all one-sided. Could be a divorce. Parting of ways. It's over. It's permanent. And it's, it's profound. Yeah, you take back your power. Good for you. You're not giving them a dime. Oh well. Good for you. Congratulations. Right. Hmm. You're releasing everything to do with this person. It was all one-sided. You get yeah, prison wave, self-sabotage, poverty, consciousness. Well, it says it all, right? They wanted to be an emperor, but they're not. You made them look good. You made them feel like they were an emperor. You know, had power and control, and connections and stuff. Maybe you were the one with the clout and the connections, or. Vice versa, you could be the emperor who did this to whomever, right? Take it as it applies. Artificial heart. There was no love here. They just wanted to waste your time, keep you stuck here. So they can keep reusing you and using you, right? I like you. Notice it doesn't say I love you. <laughs> they go around looking for new, new supply, I suppose. I didn't see the narcissist card. It just kind of reminds me of one, though. The keeper of the scales, fair, fairness and balance, 38. So this is justice. Yep, it's fair. What's fair is fair, right? Black flower fragrance this is a big shock to them. Who knows? You might have left with everything uh, while they were out partying with their other people and friends and whatnot. And there you go. It's a big shocker. It's a tower moment for them. 
the snake. Competition and enemy clever and malicious look over your shoulder at the other woman. So they were still dealing with the other woman. They were using you. Both of them possibly using you. That was my story. They were both fucking partying on my dime and taking things and stealing and uh, lying and gossiping and slandering me. Thinking they were funny. It made the, the, the other woman feel so good about herself because she's got nothing. She was just, she's got nothing. I mean, nothing to look at either. She had to use magic. They both did. Angels, how are we ending this read, please? What's the, what's the story here? I would like to end this reading for the collective. Thank you. Emperor Mikael, 42. That's the six lovers. Oh, had a choice here. So we used her higher wisdom. Like unto God. I love this. Angel's face is like, do I really have to make this decision here? I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> Political authority gives safe travel and protects against conspiracy. So maybe the other woman and your ex were conspiring against you to use you up. You know, yep. Three of swords. There's heartbreak. That's the third party situation. Rihayel, 39. They're stuck. This is um, Hangman. Wanted you struggling, stuck. Bleeding money, right? The quickly forgiving God. They didn't know that you take the sword out of the stone here, okay, which is the truth, the sword of truth. They didn't think that you'd ever find out. Bullshit. Love and submission cures illness, influences paternal love, and gives long life. They wanted you to be submissive to them. Wow. Death, it's over. Mumia, 72, 9. So you, you found out they were hiding and cloaking lots of shit here. You could have hired a, a private eye. God, the end of the universe. Time's up here. Okay? They keep doing this time and time after time to people. This could be the couple, by the way. It just came to, to me. Uh, the scam artist couple that uh, hit on people with money and assets and homes and stuff like that. And they steal it from them. They both, they, they both live off of the one, right? Endings and rebirth influences health and longevity. So maybe you, you lost a bit of your health. Don't worry, you're going to regain that. Nine of Pentacles, you're, yeah, single, abundant, independent, uh, self-sufficient, stable, and secure here. They wanted a life of luxury off of you. 33, you're a master. So you've mastered this. It adds to a six. Again, it's a third-party situation. <sighs> Three's a crowd, right? Submission to higher order identifies traitors and destroys their plans. The lovers can't make it up, okay? The cards are speaking that truth. This is a, a betrayal here. It's a harsh and painful end. Okay, 17, you're divinely protected. Wish fulfillment goes to you. Okay, you had great faith. So, Haniel, joy of God. Joy and pleasure brings happiness to couples, removes negative energy. So, they could be happy together in the poorhouse or in jail. Take it as it flies. Congratulations. You can be together. Well, not in jail, but in the poorhouse, you can. <laughs> I take it you are moving on. They both deserve one another. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the white light. How are we ending the read for today? For the collective, what is the parting message here, please? Not for you. Yep, six. Again, I'm telling you, parting away. It was all one-sided. Poor decisions here. They're going to have some uh, consequences here. Building blocks. You're rebuilding your life here. 28. There's change. That's the wheel of fortune. They were, again, 10, 10. There are gold diggers and clout chasers. There's a change here. Now the universe has got your back, okay? You're going to rebuild, and it's going to be a stronger, firmer foundation for you, okay? It's not a, It's not um, all for nothing, okay? Typically, a lot of us, when we've gone through the worst, and we heal from it, and we learned our, our lessons, because it's all lessons, right? We do bounce back even better, so just take heed, Okay? Take heart and remember that. Six in reverse. I'm just going to read the protection message. Don't chase after what flees from you. Don't obsess over what eludes you. Don't bang your head against the wall. There's nothing romantic about what is unavailable. No prize given for torturing yourself and nothing to be gained by refusing to see the red flags that have been waving since you began your pursuit. Now is the time to walk away. There are other goals, other loves, other games, other successes waiting for you. The way out of obsessing is radical acceptance and surrender. That's the hangman as well, right? Surrender. Um, spirit wants only the best for you. This is a sign that you have something much better waiting for you, so trust. 
building blocks. I'm telling you, it hurts now. It's only going to hurt for a couple of months, trust me. Then you're going to get your group back. Do the healing work in between relationships. Don't jump into a new one, okay? you got to heal from this first. You'll be, be much better for it, trust me. 28, building blocks, strong foundations, a beautiful work in progress. You have everything you need to cultivate an extraordinary life. This is a time when your focus needs to be on the foundations you build upon. Your work, your relationships, and your very being are underwritten by your values, ethics, morals, and core beliefs. Are they still true for you? Will they stand the test of time and serve as the solid grounding upon which you, you construct your life? Now you're, you are making changes that will affect everything in a positive way. Your destiny is truly a remarkable and beautiful design. So you got a beautiful destiny awaiting you. You just need to do the healing work, okay? And build from a, a, a good, solid foundation in the future. Don't jump into relationships so quickly. Get to know that person. Um, watch them. And also, don't just listen to what they say. Listen to what they don't say, because that's very telling as well. Eventually, you'll get to know whether this person's for you or not before you move in with each other and mix your finances and you know what I mean, right? Or make sure there's nobody lurking in the background, still some exes or something. Because I'm sorry, some people don't think the same way. Because I I used to think, yeah, sure, be friends with your ex, blah, 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 because I was too. But I wasn't sleeping with my exes and my partners were. There was a big difference, a contrast there So in loyalty. So yeah, there's a big red flag if they're not willing to get rid of their exes. What can I say? And they, um, their exes have more, um, what's that? How? They ha they're more familiar with your partner than you are. They're, they have more access to your partner than you do. There's, that's a big red flag. Okay. Just so you know, I hope you like this reading. Um, I'm sending you a great deal of love and healing. I know that if it's a recent split, you're not feeling so great about it. Right. But you will get through this. Okay. And you'll be much better much better for it. You won't have to wonder where they are and what they're doing and who they're with, okay? Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.